Hello everyone, I'm Miss Ozoda. Today our new lesson of riding marathon, like this section actually. And today we will mainly focus on task two. So what is it task two? Task 2 is an essay on global issues, for example, education, crime, health, art, and like different topics that can be really useful in your daily life. Here you should think uh, like out of box, uh, you should use different structures to get a high score and also like you should use specific vocabulary, for example, vocabulary related to crime, related to education, related to workplace uh, and so on. So, uh, so first of all, like everyone ha like in their life like have like I think you as well have written some kind of essay at school at university, so it is not going to be very difficult, but in order to get a normal high score, you should know like grammar. You should uh, like um, like you should follow certain steps to get a uh, like to get a desired score. So that's why I really hope that this lesson is uh, like will be helpful for you actually. And I know yes, like I use this word a lot, like actually, actually. But so first of all, first of all, you should know about the types of essays, like task two essays. Uh, first of all, pay attention. Here we have types of essay. As you can see, agree, disagree. Agree, disagree. For example, here you should uh, say, do you agree or disagree? Next one is. Second one is discuss and give your own opinion. Give your opinion. But actually, your opinion shouldn't be based on your experience. Actually, but, but like how to say? You cannot say like from my experience. Like I think this this happens because. <laughs> Next one is like problem solution. Problem solution here you should think differently and you should think as I said before like more globally actually because like problems uh, sometimes you should create problem, you should discuss problem and then you should solve your problem that was created by yourself. Next one is for cause and effect like cause and effect for example like reasons for that is very also like three and four are really interesting i really liked them because here you think not from your experience but you think globally next one is advantages and disadvantages they like also called like pros and cons like minuses and pluses uh, benefits and drawbacks like, like advantages and disadvantages i think the easiest one I think, yes, it's just my opinion. Next one is like mixed type. In mixed type, you usually get like different questions. For example, half of them can be agree, disagree, half of them can be problem solution. So mixed type is usually like the mixture of one and two, like three and four, for example. So these are the types of essays. And so next thing that you should know is how all like your score um, is assessed. Yes, now I will explain you how they plus like task one and task two, how they add them and how do you get like six, 6.5 or seven, how they do calculations. Now I will explain. Now I can explain you how examiners like usually count your band score. Pay attention, here we have task one and task two, but task one weighs one third, the task two weighs two third. So that's why, for example, if you get six from your task one, six, so, but you get seven from your task two, that means if we like add all of them, add up all of them, so uh, it will be 6.6, .6, but your score, your band score is 6.5. So at home, you can count them, like you can do it by yourself, it is very easy. You just need a calculator and like and or basic like uh, mathematical abilities. So uh, now I'm gonna explain you like, like general structure as usual. Take notes, 
don't forget. Um, okay, like task one. The first thing that you should pay attention, you should focus on is our introduction. Without introduction, you cannot write down your essay. So like, first of all, introduction should contain your background information. So what does it mean? Actually, you don't need to know what, is it, what does it mean, but you should know how to paraphrase the given question. So that's why like this one is paraphrasing the question. Those they are almost the same. Next one is you need a thesis statement. So thesis statement is your position to the essay. For example, do you agree or disagree? Or like, um, like what do you think about this question? So you should say, like you should mention about that as well, because mostly you are asking your opinion. Uh, next thing is, thesis statement can be implied and stated. Implied means not specific, not, not exact answer, like uh, not exact answer of yours. But when it comes to stated, here you should mention like exactly what's your position. You should show it, you should write down it, and uh, like you should point out how to say like thoroughly exactly, yes. That's it, this one is your introduction, and usually introduction should contain only three or maximum four sentences. Let's start. First of all, the question is, some people think that all university students should study whatever they like. Others believe that they should only be allowed to study subjects that will be useful in the future, such as those related to science and technology. Discuss both these views and give your own opinion. So actually, this is the second type of our essay, discuss and give your opinion. So now, first of all, we will read the introduction. You can pause the video uh, and you can read it. So uh, people have different views about how much choice students should have with regard to what they can study at university while some argue that it would be better for students to be forced into certain key subject areas, I believe that everyone should be able to study the course of their choice. So introduction was a bit like, uh, was created, was made by using complex structures, but this one is like Simon's essays. As I said before, as I mentioned before, I really like them because uh, they are fantastic. I think they are perfect. Uh, Next one is, let's move to our detail paragraph. It's actually called it not detail paragraph, but body one or body two. Now I will show you. So this one is our bodies, bodies, body one and body two. So actually they are almost the same, but your position, not position, but the position of the idea should be different, should be opposite. For example, you cannot say like agree in the first body and agree in the second body because the question is, do you agree or disagree or like discuss both views? So that's why you should discuss like two sides and then you can give your own opinion, but in conclusion, in introduction and conclusion. So body one and two, uh, first of all, this one is topic sentence, topic sentence. So for example, you cannot start from this one, like firstly, this, 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 an idea. No, first of all, you should um, like mention, you should write down the main idea. What are you going to talk about? What are you going to write about? Next one is the second, the most important part of your body is to support your idea. It is just like not an example, but you should support it thoroughly from different sides. You should support your idea very clearly. Um, so that's why uh, like pay attention. Support means, this one is an example. For example, for instance, next one is fact. Different facts, like uh, they shouldn't be like super natural, just simple facts. Uh, for example, about global warming, about crime, technology, education. Uh, next one is statistics. Statistics, okay. Uh, sometimes, like you know, some students just make up some statistics, but they should be like close to real one. Yes, they should be close to real facts, real statistics. For example, you cannot say 100 men like uh, don't like this one. No, you should use serious statistics or just made up something more reliable. Next one is 
opinion. Opinion actually not your opinion, but opinions of the majority of people. So that's why be careful with opinions and also statistics. And like this structure can be used in body one and body two. So that's that means like you now covered everything about task one. Let's read an example and let's analyze this uh, like bodies. Well, you have some time to read this uh, body and you can pause the video if you want. Now I will start. There are various reasons why people believe that university should only offer subjects that will be useful in the future. They may assert that university courses like medicine, engineering and information technology are more likely to be beneficial than certain art degrees. From a personal perspective, it can be argued that these courses provide more job opportunities, career progression, better salaries, and therefore an improved quality of life for students who take them. On the like societal level, by forcing people to choose particular university subjects, governments can ensure that any knowledge and skill gaps in the economy are covered. Finally, a focus on technology in higher education could lead to new inventions, economic growth, and greater future prosperity. As you can see here, this one is like, uh, in my opinion, like um, well written, uh, well supported, and well organized. Like one idea was supported and the second idea was supported. They use from a personal perspective, but they didn't use their opinion, like their own opinion. Next thing is I really like, this one is on the societal level. They uh, discuss the problem, discuss the situation from an individual perspective, then on a societal level. I really like it and I really hope like you enjoy it. So. Body two, you have some time to read it. You can pause the video, but I will read. In spite of these arguments, I believe that university students should be free to choose their preferred areas to, of study. In my opinion, society will benefit more if our students are passionate about what they are learning. Besides, nobody can really predict which areas of knowledge will be most useful to society in the future. And it may be that employers begin to value creative thinking skills above practical or technical skills. If this were the case, perhaps we need more students of art, history and philosophy than of science or technology. Actually, uh, like you have some time to read it, to analyze it, but as you can see, I always mention the important uh, like parts of our body, of our essays. So um, that's why I show you like great example of how to write task two. So let's move to conclusion and then we are going to finish. And this is our last paragraph of our essay. This one is a conclusion. So conclusion is a summary of your body one and body two. And if you were asked to write down your opinion, for example, like what do you think? Like, do you agree or disagree or give your own opinion? So in your conclusion, you can finally write down your opinion. And you can use phrases like this, in my opinion, to my mind, from a personal perspective, you can use such phrases if you want. But this one is like optional. Uh, so let's read this like our great example, perfect example of our conclusion. So in conclusion, although it might seem sensible for universities to focus only on the most useful subjects, I personally prefer the current system in which people have the right to study whatever they like. As you can see here, he mentioned about his personal opinion. So uh, this is actually a conclusion. Uh, we don't need a new idea for our conclusion or we don't need a like, um, like new structure for that or new problem for that. So that's why you should just need a summary and that's it. As a homework, I will give you two things. So the first one is to find out and learn about different uh, linking words, uh, like because linking words will 
help you uh, how to say like to point out your idea clearly to write down them clearly to explain them clearly so this one is like the first homework you should learn everything about linking words and uh, we will send to our group like to our channel different linking words as well the second thing is analyzing analyzing other essays other uh, like instructors essay because they will help you to use new grammar structures like grammatical structures uh, complex structures simple sentence so it will be very helpful for you and please practice this one is like um how to remind for you like practice makes perfect thank you very much see you on our next lesson so it's going to be the last lesson of ours goodbye